The family of a woman who remains in a permanent vegetative state as a result of a horrific mishap at a go-kart track wants to make sure that no one else has to suffer like they have. Now there is legislation proposed that could make a difference here. 24-Hour News 8's Barton Dieters is on top of the story new for us tonight. Barton, good evening. Well, Leon, we brought you this story in August of the family of Rachel Gibbs, whose life effectively ended in 2015 when she visited AJ's Family Fun Center in Comstock Park with her two young sons, then only five and seven. I said, I have to do something that's going to make a horrible situation do some good. Rachel Gibbs is now at a long-term care facility in England where she once worked as a photo editor for the Discovery Channel, BBC, Getty Images, and others. Now she cannot move, talk, or even feed herself. She was in Grand Rapids visiting her parents, Dennis and Karen Clubba, as they decided to bring the boys to AJ's. Gibbs was wearing a scarf on that day, which got caught up in the mechanics of the go-kart. She was choked. The air cut off to her brain long enough to cause extensive damage to her brain. Her family visits her in England as much as they can. So we see her, we talk to her. Um, and we pray. The family sued, saying AJ should have made sure that customers did not have items that could get caught and should have had emergency procedures in place. I know that accidents are accidents. You can't prevent them all. But this one could have been prevented. AJ's never admitted fault, but they did pay out more than $1 million in a lawsuit. Since that time, family, especially her sister, Corey Sandwick, has been working to make changes. And that change is on the cusp of happening with a trio of bills that will get first reading this week in the state House of Representatives, introduced by Lowell Republican Thomas Albert. Yeah, I think this is a great story of, uh, of a constituent using the le legislative process. She was very persistent. And, uh, and, and she actually did a lot of research and it was very helpful. The bills create a system patterned after that which is used in North Carolina, which compels amusement providers to participate in a program that gives them a gold star certification. We as consumers can also um, make choices about supporting um, amusement parks that are going above and beyond. It would also create a database that shows the details of inspections that would be available to people online. You know, with a safety star program, the, the, the idea is that people are diligent and um, trained in what to look for. It will be a great opportunity for the state of Michigan to say we care about our people and we care about our visitors. They say there is support for the increased inspections, even in the industry, among responsible amusement providers. Albert said the program is voluntary for a reason. What we want to do is, is let's raise up the, the safety standards. Let's, let's raise up the training standards for those that are employed there. Uh, let's not try to come in with a heavy hand and regulate them out of business. I would love to see it be, you know, just be made law, but at the same time, I'm in support of the way that we're going about this right now. And hopefully save someone else from this kind of pain and tragedy in their lives. So that's, that's our goal to do that. Rachel Gibbs' sister says she's happy with what they've done so far, but she says there's more to be done. In the control room, Barton Dieters, 24-hour news 8.